guys and welcome back to Shay's Way! Today we are doing a Q&A on the swing. So I asked you guys on Instagram and TikTok to ask me some questions and so I could do a little Q&A because I haven't done a Q&A in like I don't know a long time and I have a lot of new supporters so I want to hear the questions that you guys have and I want to answer them on this YouTube video. So let's get started. Let's get answering these questions and I may never stop swinging. I, it's kind of fun. We are going to start with the Instagrammers first. So our first question is from Esme O'Brien. She said, what is your favorite thing about horses? Oh my gosh, that's hard because I have so many favorite things about horses. I guess how trusting they are. Just the fact that like they let us ride them and do crazy things on them like jumping especially or going on trail rides like just the fact that they trust us and they do it for us i think like just their like trusting nature and how sweet they are like they're just so like sweet you know i think that's my favorite thing about horses what like good nature they are you know because they could be like so angry and they could be like i don't want to do it and sometimes they are but like if they trust you and they respect you then they'll do it for you and i just like really love that about them like I feel like they're just really caring and they're just sweet creatures so yeah that's my favorite thing like just like their personalities Eli Coop says how have you been doing I was sick last week actually but now I'm feeling better so I've been doing good I just finished finals yes and guys I got straight A's this year what grades did you guys get this year and have you finished finals? And what are you looking forward to for Christmas break? I wanna know, so comment down below. Okay, Isabella Horses have a cup, has a couple of questions. She said, first, how high do you jump? Okay, so in practice, I'll usually jump like 0.80s, 0.90s, sometimes a meter. Um, recently we did like a meter 10. And then in shows, I'll usually like start at the 0.80s and then I'll go up to the 0.90s on the last day or sometimes if I'm doing really good, I get to go up to the meters in shows. And so that's my goal is to like be at the meters for like, you know, not like wavering. Like sometimes I waver, I do like a meter or I do like 0.90 and I want to be firm at like a meter so that I can go higher and everything. Now I'll say like around a meter. Why did I start horseback riding? Also same question from Isabella. So I guess I started horseback riding because I liked riding horses and then um, I'm really continued it because I was having a lot of fun with it. Horse underscore Holly M asked, how many horses have you had in your whole lifetime? Um, okay, so I've had about four. So first, my first horse was Toasty and she was this cute little um, thoroughbred polo pony chestnut and um, she was really good but then when our polo club moved there was like no way we didn't go with them basically you guys can go watch my i got kicked out of a polo club video if you want the whole story on that so when i didn't have like any option to move to like polo i tried to convert her to jumping but that was like not her thing and she was not happy and so like i was not happy and she started like throwing me off a bit more she was just like clearly it was just not fitting and there was nothing i could do for polo wise so we ended up having to um, sell her, but we get, made sure she got a good home. And now she's like retired in Canada and living her best life in pasture. So she's very happy. Cause I think she just really wanted to retire. She was older and she was just over it. She was like abused previously. So she was just like, she was like, I'm done. I don't want people, I'm over it. And I was like, I feel that. So then our next horse was Cookie Dough, which was my sister's horse. And I don't have Cookie Dough anymore because she's my sister. So then my sister actually moved out of state and she gave her to a nice like little kid home. Oh, Cookie Dough was a brown and white paint. She was really sweet, such a good horse, amazing. She used to be a polo pony, but then she had to retire because she couldn't even do jumping because she has navicular disease, which is like a foot disease where they cannot like do much because their feet hurt kind of thing. That's like a basic explanation. Then we had Maestro. He was a black and white Dutch warm blood Pinto. And he was beautiful, but he was way too much horse for me. And my sister quit riding, so she wasn't riding him. And so we could not afford to keep him. So we had to sell him as well. But he also is a really nice, loving owner who just adores him. So it worked out fine. And then we got Rocket. And Rocket, he is forever home with me. I am never letting go of my Rocket love my king and i got him 
after we sold Toasty because I wanted to move up in jumping and he is the horse to do it. He's like the exact like level that I wanna go up to basically. Blakely Brown asked, what are your future goals in riding? And she also asked how long have I had Rocket? So I've had Rocket for four years. And my future goals in riding is to get to a meter 20 in jumpers and then to get as like far as um, I'm comfortable in eventing because I want to do eventing, but I don't want to do the high levels because it's kind of scary. But you never know because I might change my mind, you know? I change my mind all the time. But right now my goal is like at least a meter 20 in jumpers. Yes. And I want to free ride Rocket. I really want to free ride him. That'll take time but I wanna get there. Blakely also asked, how long have you been riding? 10 years, woo. Northbrook Stable says, what was your first biggest accomplishment on Rocket? Woo. I think my barebacking experience with him has been a huge accomplishment because when I first got him, he didn't know what bareback was at all. And he took off like around the whole arena when I was bareback. And so then now I can actually like ride him bareback on trail and I can jump him bareback. So I think that's like a big accomplishment and I feel really good about that. And I'm huge on like wanting to free ride him. So it's like getting a step closer there. So yeah, I see that. Cody the Gelding asked, fave horse movie, Spirit. I love Spirit, it's so good. Also, Spirit looks like Rocket. <laughs> Ali Aventure asked, when is Rocket's next show? I don't know yet. Hopefully next year we're gonna do an eventing show, but we'll see. Ainsley Taylor said, when did you start jumping after cantering poles? Um, Okay, I don't know actually if I did canter poles first. I was already knew how to ride when I started jumping. So when I started, it took like three lessons and then like just to like get down the flat work basics. I can't remember. It took like at least like three to five weeks basically for me to start jumping. And that's because my trainer was like, my first trainer was like really slow in progress. And I jumped like, <laughs> what did I jump? A, no, I jumped like a little flower box. It was so small. And I was like, ooh, this is so fun. I thought I jumped so high and I realized no, not, not at all. And then I moved to a different trainer, which is when I'll say I officially started jumping, jumping. And I jumped like verticals and it was probably like two feet, less than two feet. So it was pretty much, I think I started jumping pretty quick. I don't think I did a lot of poles in the beginning. Though I think I did some poles like on the rail, like where you like, like bounces as poles. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. Abigail Elizabeth Wright said, how old is Rocket? and what is my dream horse breed. Also, she wanted to shout out, so shout out to you, Abby, love you. So Rocket is 10, and my dream horse breed is actually what I have, a Connemara. They're the best, they're literally the best. I don't know, I don't want like any other breed. If I did get another horse though, I think I would probably get like a Western horse. So I don't know if that would be a Connemara, but <laughs> it would be like a Western horse because I want to be the best of both worlds. Ooh. Daily Dose of Berkeley asked, how did you get to where you are today? Oh my gosh, watch my past two videos of how I got kicked out of a polo club and an equestrian center. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, that's not how I got to where I am today. I guess I just like had to look around and find which barns were right for me and navigate like between toxic equestrian world and like good equestrian world. I changed a lot of disciplines. I went from dressage to polo to jumping so i just kind of like had to like figure out what i wanted to do and it took me a while to even figure out like my goals like my goals changed like every year for a while but now my goals have been kind of constant for a while so it's just kind of like changing up with like horses learning how to, my horse like works all of that just kind of contributed taylor 38747 asked if i'm feeling better thank you so much i am Mwah. Okay, Ridgeback Ranch Sophie asked, are you planning on getting a pet pigeon? <laughs> I want one, but probably not. Rocket has pet pigeons, so I think that's the closest I'll get to a pigeon. Sid X said, favorite color saddle pad? Pink, of course. I don't know if you guys can tell. My favorite color. Sid also asked, favorite candy, soda, and snack? Okay, favorite candy is Skittles. I love Skittles a lot. Soda. I only like 7-Up. I don't really like soda. And I only like 7-Up if it has like, what's it called? Grenadine in it. Favorite snack? That is so hard. Um, okay, does it count if I want to eat Thai food as a snack? Sid Eck also asked, favorite thing about Rocket? Oh my gosh, his eyes. I love his eyes. They're my favorite. I like to look at them. He makes so many facial expressions with them. I'm obsessed with his eyes. X Giggle X said, firstly, I love you. Oh, I love you too. 
And secondly, how long have you been riding Rocket? Okay, four years I've been riding Rocket. PJH Equestrian asks, what breed is Rocket? Rocket is a Conamera. Hopping Horses asks, what level of venting do you want to do? Oh boy, that's a good question. Um, okay, I'm starting in beginner novice. I'm thinking in venting, cross country rise, maybe training level. That's like three foot three. That doesn't seem too bad. I don't know. Cause I kind of get scared that the jumps don't fall over. So I don't know if I want to like push rocket higher than that. So maybe training level in eventing. Three day Equix asked, what do you think of the breed Conamera? PS, I love you. I love you too. And oh my gosh, what do I think about Conameras? They are the best breed ever. I love Conameras. Sweet treat horse cookie said, when can I ride rocket? <gasps> <laughs> Never? Just kidding. I don't let anybody ride rocket unless it's like with my trainer there kind of thing, if that makes sense. Like we did like a switching horses thing recently. And so that was really fun. And then it's like, if somebody I know really well and I know how they ride, then I let them ride rocket. But like, I'm pretty particular about it. So you'd have to be like my BFF or something. The baby Yoda zero zero, I love your username, said, are you a jumper or hunter? Uh, I'm a jumper. Paige Delancey, she asked a question that I've already answered, but I love you too. And Rocket loves you as well. Presley Fan Club asked what my favorite breed of horse is, and it is Conamera's. Andy Equestrian said she forgot her question. Good job. Now we are moving on to TikTok questions. Let's get answering. Horse Girl 3303 asked, how is college going? College going really good. I'm super excited for next semester. I'm taking a Harry Potter studies class. So that's really exciting. Horse Girl 3303 also asked my worst fall story. You guys can see on my TikTok, my worst fall is when Rocket and I, we had like, not the best footing that day. It was probably like slippery and flat or so. And we jumped a jump and then did a tight jumper turn. And he just kind of slipped and he fell all the way over. But I like, he almost landed on me. Like he landed on me, but he was like really light on his body. Like he didn't want to land on me. If that makes sense. So I was able to slip out from under him. My leg didn't get stuck, but he like, his body touched my leg and I was like, oh. so I slipped out and then he got back up and then immediately I was like, oh my God, are you okay? And I chased after him, not chased after him, but I like walked after him to go catch him. And he was just walking away like, I don't wanna talk about it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna even have this conversation. But I checked on him first and we were both okay. We had like no scratches. So really good, really lucky. One, two, three horses said, what type of horse do you recommend for jumping and why? Conomeras, they're really safe for all age levels and they jump really nicely. Also, they're really sturdy. A Kit Kat lover 2255 asked, what is my worst injury from riding? Oh my gosh, um, I got taken off on by this racehorse thoroughbred and I fell off, got my arm stuck on the fence and it tore up my arm like on the side here and I have a scar from it and it was really painful. It's a girl 164 asked how tall Rocket is. He has 15.2 hands. Dakota Marie 678 asked, who is Rocket's BFF and what is your favorite color after pink? Rocket's BFF is a, Con is a Conamara pony. He's a Cromello named Buzz. He likes to give him good scratches. And he also loves his cute gray mare named Aspen. He really likes her too. And my favorite color after pink is black. Oop, it's Cat asked if I ever considered a different dog breed. Um, yes, I really want a pit bull. I really want a pit bull. They're so cute and they're sweet. Like people say they're mean and they're not mean. Our last question comes from Des6110 who asked, what is my secret to writing English? There's no secrets. It just takes time, practice, having a good trainer, all of that. So just keep on doing what you're doing. Listen to your trainer, try your hardest and you will get there. Yes, you got this. Okay guys, thank you guys so much for sending in questions. I had a lot of fun answering them and I hope you guys learned some fun things and you guys like this video. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, don't forget to ring the bell because then you get notified when I post. Yeah. I have merch, so go check out my new merch down below. There's a lot of new items and you should definitely check it out because it's so cute. Also, you guys, if you're thinking of shopping some Asmar Equestrian, then make sure you use my link because you'll support Rocket's Treat Fund or you can Venmo me at Shaysway to support Rocket's Treat Fund as well. And you'll get a special shout out if you do, but only if you want to. Okay, so since we did a lot of question asking today, we're not gonna do video shout outs in this video, but if you want to be in the next video's video shout outs, then don't forget to comment on this video or any of my other videos, or you can comment on my Instagram, Shaysway Official. TikTok, Shane Rocket, Twitter, Shay's Way Slays, and Facebook, Shay's Way. Guys, it's raining, so I'm a peace out. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Have a great day. Oh.